This is Chats with Ryan Trainer from Tassie Bush Ranger and it's PJ from Addicted to Grow and welcome. Hello mate, how are you? Good, yourself? Yeah, I'm really well. <clears throat> How's things? Uh, yeah, pretty good. Had a good few days here. Um, yeah? Great to spend sleeping well for a few nights, so that's a, a big factor for me at the minute. Um, is that is she and that's 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 all right for you? That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah so good. Basically, she's having shorter day sleeps, but sleeping better at night, which works well for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good. That's really really good. Yeah. That's awesome. All right. That's cool. So, how's your week been? Uh, it's been a, a very quick one, to be honest. I guess we've kept busy. Uh, yeah. MMA started back up. So. Is that why you got a bit of blood lip? Yeah, <laughs> we were um, we were only doing work with the pads, but mate did an uppercut on the pad, and it's just come up into my mouth. Oh, uh, yeah, the way my eye teeth stick out there. Oh, very sharp. I easily split my lip on those. Oh, <laughs> and because we were only doing pads, I didn't have a mouth guard in, so. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all part of it. Yeah, that's it. I love but, boxing. Uh, Fuck, I love boxing. Yeah, it's good to get back into it, sort of. Yeah, that's good. Um, it's been a while since I did it, so yeah, good way to finish the day because it's at five o'clock. So Amanda finishes work at four thirty, and then oh, I go. Perfect. Up so I'm finishing up with Grace and feeling really tired, and then I do that, and I just re-energizes me for the evening. Really. <laughs> but, um, yes. Yeah, I think it's going to be good routine for me. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. How many days a week? Uh, so I'm going to be doing Tuesday, Thursday with that. Nice. And oh, yeah, nice. Monday, I start a PT at five as well. So I have the three days and then. Oh, that'll runs, be good. Two runs a week as well. So basically, five yeah, days yeah, yeah. a week, I'll have something in the evenings. Yeah, that's going to be good. That's really good. Yeah. How about that's your really week? Good. Uh, my week. Just mail mail me. I always like to keep an eye on the mail here. Yeah, it's a good idea. Just because if I can if you get things delivered and then they drop them off and you yeah. never know some days. Just you just can really only... confuse me because you turn to the side and then I saw you go out the door in the mirror, but I hadn't realised before it was a mirror there. So oh. you turned one way and then you went the other. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. Um, um, so your week, um, yeah. Um, so Thursday night last week, um, my mate, um, my cousin's husband, um, he's my age. Yeah. He was riding an adult electric scooter. Yeah. Um, in Batemans Bay, and he was, which is in New South Wales, and he was, um, he was going down a hill. This is the story that we've been told. He was going down a hill. Um, he got the scooter like that day or the day before. So he went out just to enjoy it. And he's a bit of a, you know, like he loves his daredevil stuff. Um, and he's just a bit like that. You know what I mean? Like he just loves adult toys and has fun. Mm. And he was going down a hill apparently. And um, yeah, he must've come off it and he got found at the bottom of the hill. His face was unrecognizable. Um, and he died later on in Canberra uh, on the Saturday afternoon from severe brain damage. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it's just one of those things. Like, I mean, at the end of the day, if he died doing what he was enjoying, like, you know, that puts me yeah. at rest like that. But he's got a daughter that's seven and his wife's, you know, my cousin and or like she's close enough to call my cousin. We grew up together our whole life. Yeah. So 
you know, so her her mother's Filipino, her dad's Italian, my mother's Filipino, her dad, my dad's Croatian. So it's just yeah. always had that bond. And yeah, um, yeah it's just, it, it is part of life, but you just never know, do you? Like you, no, that's right. Yeah. I don't know. So that, that's what happened last Saturday night. Um, yeah. And it was just, it was all touch and go during the, from Thursday. And um, we haven't seen the rest of the family yet because we're not allowed to kind of thing. Like we can't sort of congregate in big groups at the moment. So we're just waiting, just buying our time. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, we'll just, yeah, we'll just wait. Just wait until, wait until uh, they give us the go ahead. My cousin texted me this morning, the younger sister. Yeah. And she just said like, I'll let you know as soon as, you know, we can have a few around and, you know, it'd be nice to see everyone. And I said, yeah, cool. Let us know. Yeah, it's particularly hard when there's a kid as well, isn't it? Sort of yeah. even harder for them to understand. Yeah, absolutely. Like you just can't, you can't, um, you don't know. And you can't, you can't explain any more than what they already know type thing. Yeah. Even Which actually son- reminds me that Amanda and I haven't written a will and we really need to do that now we have a daughter. Yeah, and, you know, that was a big reminder for us. Like, Nicole turned around and said, yeah, well, maybe we should do something because what if something happens to us and where are the kids going to go? And yeah. let's think about that. And I said, yeah, good idea. Let's, let's do that. So, it's a, I mean, it's a good reminder. The other thing is, is uh, as far as I know, like, he wasn't even wearing a helmet. So, like, yeah. you know, that's just another reminder on its own just to go, shit, the kids go you know, scooting and bike riding and they're only seven and three and they, and they don't go terribly like quick. They're just scooting at the little, like little parks we've got. But yeah. like at the end of the day, you don't know, you know, you hit your head. Um, Fall at the wrong angle, hit the wrong spot. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that was just, there was a, just a couple of signs. Cause I always believe that the world's always trying to teach us something. So um, yeah. Yeah, so that was last week and it's carried over a little bit. We're just waiting for all the finer details about what's got to go because apparently as far as um, 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 at the moment, it's kind of like they're allowed 10 people inside the church and there's, there's 20 people outside. Yeah. So it's, you know, difficult times about what they're going to do with that and, and it's just a waiting game really. Yeah, sorry, Grace is just waking up. One good sec. Remember, you met PJ last week. Hello, Grace. We, um, yeah, just went and had morning tea at the same place you saw the photos of the other week with the indoor playground. Oh, yeah, cool. Um, she just loves seeing people and because obviously we haven't been as much lately. Just everyone she sees waving and gets so excited. So uh, Yeah, that's really good. And then she fell asleep in the car on the way back here and I actually managed to <laughs> change her to the bed without waking her up. Yes, that's always a skill on its own. Mm. Had a bit of a sleep, didn't you? <laughs> the other day, uh, was it last night? No, it was last night. I was up. My son kicked me out of my bed and I had to go to his bed. And yeah. I noticed that you were online at the same time. And I was like, <laughs> he must be awake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's still having two bottles overnight at the minute. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's better than the hourly we were having for a few days there. Yeah. <laughs> So um, I've written a little list of things to talk about this week. So I don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. But yeah. before what you were, wrote down something in your diary, you were going to ask me this week. Uh, yes, I did. You got it there. Yeah. What was our? Um, can you remember what? Um, 
I can't even think what we were talking about when you said I'll save it for next week. Um, you know, do you want to go play? I'll see if I put it. I'll see if I put it in the in the notes. Oh yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. I got it. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Hopefully she's happy playing. Cool. Right. right, I've got it. You ready for the question? Yep. All right, here's the question. All right, Ryan, what would you tell your younger self 10 years ago? What would you, what would you tell your younger self? 10, 19. Uh, probably listen to your daddies, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, That's pretty good. Yeah. And... So at 19, I'd only just started working full time. Um, and so probably just to actually save some money would have been a big thing for me. I've never been good at saving money. And at that stage, um, yeah, at that stage I was still living at home. So, and one thing my dad, told me at that age is you've got a more disposable income than you'll ever have in your life right now. <laughs> um, it's the best time to save. And yeah, I was earning a lot of money and I, I spent it all for a number of years before I started saving. And I often think I could be that much further ahead if I'd saved better. Um, <laughs> so I think that would be a big thing for me. And yeah. Um, probably also just the drinking and smoking less if I, I could have convinced myself to stop that earlier. Um, oh, yep, yep. Would have been good as well. Yep, yeah. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. At, at 19, there's a lot of things I probably could have told myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would say listening to my dad probably umbrella covers all of those things, really. Okay, all right, cool, all right. Um, okay, so what would you tell us? Okay, cool. All right, so going along with the same question. What, what would you do back then if you know what you know now that you really want to start now? Um, that's a bit of a tougher one. Um, yeah. So in other words, what are some of the things that go through your mind now that you're like, I oh, should just start now anyway? And, and, and I should have done that then, and I may as well start now. In other words, we always say things like, you know, the best time to start that was 10 years ago, but the second best time to start is now. Yeah. So, yeah. so what would you do? Um, well, I'd say lots of those things I am starting, like starting to write more. Uh, it's a big one that I've just started implementing. Oh, yep. That's good. Uh, and... Um, I guess more of the self-reliance home setting stuff. So I've just started the veggie garden, but I also want to start growing my own food in keeping chickens for eggs oh, and meat. Yep. And uh -huh, so uh -huh. that kind of, yeah, more on the self-reliance stuff, um, which I'm at this stage that there's only so much I can do where we're living now. Um, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I guess with mindset, it's all stuff I'm starting to do, but even uh, living by more of a schedule. Yes, yes. Um, be more productive with my time is something. 
<laughs> something I would say over the last few years I've improved greatly, but there's certainly still a lot of room for improvement. Yeah, yeah, I'm hearing you. Um, yeah, it's sort of, I'd say a lot of it I'm starting to work on already, uh, but there's still a long way to go with it. With it, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Because I think even in the last 12 months, I have started having a lot more of that mindset of now's the best time to start. Yep, yep, I like and, it, yep. Uh, I have been trying to make things happen, not just say, oh, yeah, I'll get to it one day sort of thing. She just wants, she just wants attention. Yeah, not really That's... awake. <laughs> hey? What do you mean, Dad? That's part of it. <laughs> so, um, you said on your video last night that you did a um, podcast on the J and A show, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if um, you, um, I'll let you know when that's going to be like advised. Yeah. I've um, never heard or. Of yeah, so she's in. Um, she's mainly in in America. Yeah, and she's an awesome. Uh, she's been doing like a lot of work herself in a lot of different areas. So yeah. she, um, what's the word? What am I trying to say? Um, she. Uh, she. Was working in finance and that's when we met maybe about 12 months ago yeah and since then it's just been you know that ongoing you know connection and relationship and friendship and then all of a sudden she's just like oh yeah well i'm starting this and i'm starting that and what do you reckon and i'm like yes yes i would love an interview and she's just like yeah okay cool and she's in like the top 10 in america the JA show on a couple of different channels. So yeah. it's totally worth, yeah, like, you know, um, it was a sponsored podcast as well, which means, um, which means I'm going to sponsor the startup of her show. So the benefit of me doing a sponsorship shows my, like, addicted to grow as the stance to go, oh, yeah, this guy's affiliated and he's willing to um, sponsor our show to also get word of mouth out. Yeah. Yeah. Cause yeah. she's a startup. So obviously if I'm there from the start, you know, that's also going to benefit long run. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So what we spoke about actually. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to email you this. Ready? I'm going to email you this. Hang on a sec. Let me find it so I can email it to you. Um, Cause you're going to, you'll, you'll love it actually. Um, I just wish it was in the form of a book so you could have the book rather than just having it on email. Yeah. Um, PDF is it or? Yeah, it'll be a PDF. It will be a presentation. Ah, uh, yeah. Like a PowerPoint presentation, but you'll totally, like you'll really, uh, you'll really appreciate it. I'll just open this up and. Um... Uh, file. Send. How do I send it? Insert home slideshow. Go back. Remove add to home screen pin. I wonder how I can send that in an email. Let me try this. Hang on. Because I'd love you to, I, I actually want, I, I want to send you one. I'll send you one anyway. 
because the way it's printed out is so much better than the. Uh, it's so much better than just the book, right? So attach a file. Try and, are you on the computer now or phone? I'm on the phone. I got the laptop here though. So I can... Oh yeah. See if that, see if that came through. Cause when you look at it, it's just set. Yeah. It said sent. So give it about 30 seconds. But if you look at it at the same time as I do, you'll be able to you'll be able to get the drift of um of what it's like. And this is what we spoke about yesterday on on my show, or on her show. Yeah. You were just hungry, weren't you? Uh. Oh, ah, here we go. In Keynotes, which I've never used before, actually. Oh, is it opening in Keynotes? Can you open up presentation or you can't PowerPoint? Or do you not have PowerPoint? I don't think I do on this computer, actually. That's okay. It'll still work. Keynote is this the same as PowerPoint. Yeah. Which is, which is cool. Move this out a bit. All right. Use realistic optimism to break through the ants in your head. Yeah. So, so read, read that and I'll show you what it looks like. Ready? So this is what it looks like. It's a tiny little book. And, and you just like, that's the first page you're looking at. Oh, yeah. So yeah. what you, what, the whole idea about this is when you have a negative thought in your mind, you grab the book anywhere and you just like, I'll pick up that page. And then you read it and you go, oh, right. Right. So, have a have a look at it, oh, yeah. and I, I'm going to send you one physically because it's so much. It's it's worth it to have one that's you know printed out and ready to go. It's awesome. Ah, oh, yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. So if you read through that, um, you're going to see you know what it means. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you hit your head? Oh, no. Oh, no. Right. You're not having much luck today, are you? Take your time, mate. Take your time. Magic gummy. <laughs> So, um, yeah, they're really good. Um, just clicking through them. Yeah, so that's what we spoke about yesterday, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what we... Uh, yeah, so the way you just open to any one, they can sort yep. of... Any of them can be relevant to how you're feeling. Hey? Every one, yeah, every single one can be relevant, and not only that, it's it's very um, it's very powerful as far as um, it takes us away from that 
thinking of like, I'm in a negative space. I'm in a negative space. I'm thinking, and you just grab this book and you just go, right, I need to change my negative thoughts and I'm going to flick it open. And it's like, so here's a perfect example, right? Never a bad day, only bad yeah. moments. That's the one I've got open right now. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. See, so, so the yeah. universe, right? That's a, it's an amazing thing. So, you know, that little PDF, that little book, um, I think it's on my website um, as well for sale. Um, yeah. Um, actually, I'm just going to go and check that out. Uh, um, like 32 of them, so there's a fair few. Yeah, so there's meant to be one for every day of the month. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so if you have, if you have these, uh, if you have these moments, it's like, yeah, there's one for every day of the month. Um, I'm just going to quickly have a look at the. And they, so they all really revolve around that concept of one bad thing doesn't make everything bad. Yeah, that? that's right. That's right. So, um, yeah, so I've got like, it's, it's in the shop, um, for nine ninety five, and obviously, you know, there's, um, I want to print a whole heap of them out so I can start handing them out to schools. And um, yeah, yeah, I just think it's a, I think it's a really powerful tool just to give away um, so that schools can have them or at least one per teacher, you know what I mean? So they just have it at their desk and it just oh, becomes God. something that they do. Yeah. And if I was to, if I was to literally print out like a hundred, right, the return would be so, um, um, the return would be so much greater because then people are going to like see it and then they might offer me to come and speak. Yeah, yeah. So the idea of that little book, like I could even email it out, but I think like a little personalized book would be so much better. Yeah, so much, that's so that's much better. The hard copy is better, isn't it? The hard copy is so much better. I'm going to send you one. All right, cheers. Um, so let me just have a look at Ryan's. Uh, actually, while I'm here, what's your what's your full? So Ryan, what's your surname? Uh, Trainer, which is T R E A N O R. Yeah, and what's your like actual mobile number? O four nine eight. Yep. Triple zero five eight eight. Five eight eight. And just so I've got it, because I've already got your email address. What's your what's your actual address? Uh, it's twelve Wisdom Street. Is that Wisdom? Wisdom, sorry, R I S D I N. Oh, Riz Risden. Yeah. R I S D O N Street. Yeah. Suburb. Uh, Risden. Oh, yep. Risden. And then o seven. O N, o N or E N? Um, Riz on O N. O N. Seven. Seven O one seven. Seven O one seven. All right, cool. I'll send it to you. Um, yes. Yeah, I'll send it to you. Because I'd rather you have a hard copy and. Um, um, I'd rather you have a hard copy. So then you can just, instead of worrying about how to print that out and doing that, it's already designed in this size and the, my printer's already got it. So I just print a shitload and then send them out. Yeah, well, yeah it's a neat size, isn't it? Yeah, it's it just, it's little so you can... <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so that's um, that was my question that I wanted to save for you. Yeah. And, uh, and that's what was spoken about on the podcast. That was, she just went through some of those and she just said like, how do you apply that? Like how does someone then apply that to their life? Um, yeah. Really awesome, really awesome podcast, hey? So, um, so it's not actually released yet though, is that right? No, it's not released yet. She's gonna, yeah. she's gonna cut and do whatever she's gonna do with it. And then yeah. she's gonna release it when she releases it. She's gonna like put the like all the promo out for it and everything, and then yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> she wants your attention all day today. I don't know what you want, do you? Yeah, that's part of it, Dad. That's part of it. Um, and so the other thing you mentioned last night was that you've become a Beyond Blue voice. Yeah, so that was another cool thing is, um, so I reached out and I said, can I become a, a Beyond Blue volunteer in our area and uh, like a Beyond Blue volunteer speaker? And they said, we're not looking for speakers in your area right now. So then I said, okay, that's fine. Um, and then they said, um, oh, in the same email, they said, we're not looking for anyone right now as a speaker, but are you, you know, uh, are you willing to become like a, a Beyond Blue voice or are you willing to become like a, like a telephone you know, caller or whatever. And I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll become a Beyond Blue voice. And you know, I wrote down my information, told them what I'm doing, wrote a little bit of a story about myself. Uh, yeah. And then they replied back and said, yeah, we'd love to have you on board. Cool. Yeah, so that was, that was pretty cool. So it was, really, it was really satisfying and, you know, it made me feel like I could contribute that way. Yeah, so, so is it the phone, the phone stuff you do, is that or? Um, so it's the, like, um, there's a little community, so I'll just, I'll bring it up now, Beyond Blue Voices. And then like when I log in, um, basically there's like a little page there um, and you sort of like, um, you reply back within reason yeah. to people. Uh, and obviously you don't, you know, you don't say anything that's inappropriate, obviously. And you just sort of, be there as a shoulder to listen to and, and stuff like that. And yeah. if there's any events on, um, you go to the event, like it's, um, you got to turn up to X amount event per year. Uh -huh. uh, and if I just go to, okay, so, not the articles. So obviously, first of all, there's heaps of, um, there's heaps of information. I've just got to find donate fundraising. Um, I've just got to find my like account page. Um, that is my account. Um, <clears throat> so log in again, confirm. So there's this section called blue voices. So once you're in your account, you can go in there and then it's got like, um, you can go to the forum community and activity, recent participation. And then there's obviously there's, um, articles that you can join in on. Yeah. Your voice uh, will help to us to develop program materials that make a difference in the lives of other people who experience depression, anxiety, and so on. Um, you can check on a project. So um, you, can, you can write in stuff. The more you write, the more you can become like, you know, a member of the month, um, yeah. become part of the forum on the community. And you can just, like if you join the um, welcome and introductions, community chats, um, derealization and depersonalization crippling effect of anxiety at the moment like that's what they're talking about yeah uh, and then there's heaps of tips like six tips to help you ease back into life after lockdown like there's just so much stuff and obviously it's already the way that i think yeah um so it's just about really getting it out there and i can um yeah like i can put my stuff out there and yeah community yeah, cool. notice board and black dog information. And I'll, I'll actually see if I can send um, my little, uh, I'm going to look into if I can send my little thing that I just sold, sent to you. Yeah. If I can send it to them. Yeah. Um, and see if they're, if they, you know, obviously if we can use it. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, the Beyond Blue Voice is just about having a place to go to um, to join up with anyone else and whoever's got, whoever's running, um, you know, forums and stuff in this area, well, I just join in. 
and go there and support and yeah. Yeah, cool. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, so I mean, at yeah, the end of the day, lots of new stuff, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Anything that's going to help. Um, anything that's going to help them uh, grow, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and they've well, got internal, internal projects and say it again. Yeah, I think I better go sort this one out. I did have, yeah. I did have more questions, but we might save them for next week. Yeah, that's cool. I think we've got a bit of info there we can use. And yeah. like, especially if you just show a bit of this, because that's real life, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's it. That's what people, people will appreciate. Gavel, it. <laughs> we do, we do. <laughs> yeah, I think she might need some lunch. <laughs> right. Say bye to PJ. Bye. 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 Yeah, she's going to be like, I get daddy to myself. <laughs> yeah. All right. Good to talk to you. All right, man. Um, same to you. Talk to you next week. Talk to you soon, bro. Yes. Bye. Bye.